Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel one more time. So today's uh, what we try to discuss is that we try to introduce the function of several variables. So normally in class 11 or 12 we are discussing with <coughs> function of single variable. So what is the meaning? Let me just explain that. Say normally in 12 standard or 11 standard we have seen a function like this y equals to fx. So this means it is a function of single variable x. Okay, so and what is function of several variables? That is when the number of variable will be more than one. So for example, if I take z equals to f of x, y, it will be a function of two variables x and y. Okay, so this is one example of function of several variables or multivariable. So today's class we discuss the qualitative differences between these two. So it may look like same that uh, this is a single variable and this is a multivariable. So what are the basic differences are there and what are the things today we try to discuss. So this is single variable, this is several variable, several or multivariable. <clears throat> the basic difference what we can see just observing the function is that this function consists of only one variable that is the expression will be of x only but this vari this function is consisting with two variable x and y. So if you write some expression it should contain x and y or it has the maximum capacity to contain x and y both. So here if I give some example say y equals to sin x. This is a function of single variable, but here if I give say z equals to sine of x plus y, so this is a function of several variables or multivariable. Now what is the next difference which come into the picture is the derivative concept. You see if y equals to fx is there, we can find dy dx. Say here y is dependent variable and x is independent variable. Okay, so <clears throat> you can find the derivative of the dependent variable with respect to the independent variable x. But here, if I try to find the derivative of z, so I have two options. Either I can find the derivative with respect to x or I can find the derivative with respect to y. Understand? So here there is only one option x, here there are two options x and y. So we can understand there is a basic difference between the derivative of this. So actually this is not the derivative of this kind of function. So we have to introduce the concept of derivative for this kind of function. But we can understand that we have two ways to go. We can find the derivative of z with respect to x as well as with respect to y both have same role but here we can find the derivative of y with respect to x only because it has only one variable but here it has multivariable so we have more option right so now let me go to the derivative part so just i will be giving you the derivative idea <coughs> say suppose y equals to fx so if I give the definition of derivative, at x, what will be the definition? It is uh, written like dy dx equals to limit, try to understand, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h and limit h tends to 0. So this is the normal definition of derivative of this function with respect to x. So what we are doing, we have taken one increment of x because we are doing the derivative with respect to x. So we have taken one increment of x minus f of x divided by the increment and limit h tends to 0. 
So if you remember, you must have familiar with this kind of diagram. Say there is one point P, there is another point Q. So if this is X, okay. So this distance, if the curve is y equals to fx, so this point is p point is x comma fx. If this distance is h, so this point will be x plus h. So q point will be x plus h comma f of x plus h. So what we are doing? We have taken the difference of output so f of x plus h so basically we have taken the difference of output divided by the difference of input in the two points divided by the whatever be the increment of x okay and that tends to zero so here we have done in that way which we have already discussed in our uh, previous differential calculus lectures also you can just uh, visit there and you can see there now here here there is a qualitative difference between this one and this one conceptual difference is there what is the difference you see suppose i want to find the derivative of z with respect to x so let me just do this with respect to x now see there are two option i can take the derivative with respect to x or i can take the derivative with respect to y for this function so if I want to take the derivative with respect to x, then y has to be treated like a constant. Okay, so that is the very important idea. So when we are doing with respect to x, then y should be treated as a constant. So now the derivative looks a little bit different. This is called dy dx. Here it will be called del z del x. Okay that equals to now you see we are taking the derivative with respect to x so here x will be changing like x plus h y will be same because y is a constant so no changes will be there for y minus f of x comma y divided by h limit h tends to zero understand so what we are doing we are applying the same formula you see just here if i write comma y comma y i got that so the meaning is that we can take the derivative of this function with respect to x exactly in the same manner but y has to be treated as a constant y has to be treated as a constant now this kind of derivatives are called partial derivatives okay so these are called partial derivatives now if you want to you can say sir what will be the derivative with respect to y then so if you want to find del z del y so that means in the similar manner now x is constant you understand now x is constant so changes will be for y only so it will be f x will be treated as, as a constant y say y plus k minus f of x y divided by k okay limit k tends to zero now this is called partial derivative of z with respect to y sometimes this has been written like z suffix x this has been written z suffix y so this is the basic difference of definition among derivative between this single function single variable function and multivariable function in multivariable function the rule of single variable function will be applicable only partially that is in one part other part will be treated as a constant now let me give one example so that you can understand this one sorry the board is not very clean i have to do that so say we have taken z equals to x square y cube now if you want to find zx zx means del z del x so that means you have to take 
del del x of x square y cube. Now this is partial derivative seeing the symbol you can understand this is partial derivative. So when we have to perform this what we have to do we are doing with respect to x. So y we have to treat as a constant. So this is a constant part. So it will came out y cube into del del x of x square. Now what is the derivative of x square? So that is 2x. So 2xy cube. Understand? So all derivative formulas will be exactly same. Whatever we know. Only the procedure will be different. Now if I want to find zy. Del z del y. What is del z del y? That means derivative of this one with respect to y. So x will be constant, right? So x square is a constant and derivative of y cube is 3 y square. So it is basically 3 x square y square. So I think seeing this example you can understand that how to uh, find the partial derivative using the formulas of derivative. Okay. So till now we have not used the definition. We are using the basic formulas of derivative and we can find some derivative here. Now <clears throat> then what is the utility of this definition? So I hope you can note it down the definition. So let me just uh, show one problem that when the definition is needed. So say one problem is like that. Uh, find <coughs> del f del x and del f del y at 0 0 if f of x y is so let me see the question what was f of x y this was basically <coughs> x y by x square plus y square when x y not equals to 0 0 and 0 when x y equals to 0 0. Now you see for this kind of problem you can understand the derivative is important definition. Why? Because this kind of function is given in a different manner this function has two expression you see at the point origin that is when both x and y are zero then the functional value is zero but all other points that is when both are non-zero or one of them is zero then the expression will be the first one so this you have to understand very clearly the definition many people are thinking x y not equals to zero zero means <coughs> x not equals to zero and y not equals to 0 both it is not the case x y not equals to 0 0 means except the point 0 0 in all other points that means at the point 2 comma 0 this form will be applicable at the point 0 comma 2 this form will be applicable so at least if one of them is non-zero we apply the first form if both are zero we apply the second form now let me do the derivative you see we have to find del f del x del f del y at 0 0 the function is given. So what is my suggestion? Do not mug up anything. First you try to write the definition. So we know del f del x. So what is the definition we know? We know this is nothing but limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h comma y minus f of x y divided by h we know this so this is the original definition we have not done anything just to put the definition now this came into the picture at 0 0 so at 0 0 means x equals to 0 y equals to 0 so what will be del f del x then that will be limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h 0 minus f of 0 comma 0 by h 
so if i just write it is actually f of h comma 0 minus f of 0 0 divided by h now you see now we have to put the value of the function so for the point 0 0 we know the value is 0 now it is h comma 0 so this is not 0 0 point so we have to apply the first value so limit h tends to 0 so for the first portion we have to apply the first value so x value is h y value is 0 so h into 0 divided by h square plus 0 square minus 0 0 means the second portion 0 divided by h so it is becoming 0 so it is very simple only if you do it in systematic manner what is the systematic manner first of all you write the original definition of the derivative partial derivative then you put the point what point will be given in the question you put that point and you got a simplified version then you see that which form is applicable where you put that you get the answer now if i want to find del f del y so this will be limit k tends to 0 f of x comma y plus k minus f of x comma y divided by k so this is can be written limit k tends to 0 so at 0 0 actually this is f of 0 comma k minus f of 0 comma 0 divided by k so now limit k tends to 0 see f 0 comma k will follow the first rule because one is 0 another is non zero so it is basically becoming 0 into k 0 square plus k square minus 0 so it is becoming so I think uh, that's all for this uh, session. So this session we try to introduce the function of several variables for two variables x and y. Okay, And we try to see that what will happen for the definition of derivative in case of multivariable. Whether in case of the single variable we have got one definition only and with respect to one variable here we will be getting multi definition with respect to multivariable. Okay, so basically the fundamental concept is exactly same. If you are doing the derivative with respect to x, all other variable will be constant. If you are doing the derivative with respect to y, all other variable will be constant. So we try to formulate that, we try to make a simple problem and then we try to apply the definition, we try to do this problem. So I believe that I can able to continue now in a regular manner and I try to cover this function of several variables as, as much as I can so that you can understand it better. Thank you very much. Please subscribe the channel and share it.